This is a video illustrating how homophilus influenzae cells take up DNA. And we start with the cell, a typical gram-negative cell with an inner and outer membrane. And this next green set of images is just to introduce the players in our little drama, which are candy. Now, these players take their places in the cell um, starting with the chromosomal DNA, shown here in red. Once the DNA is in place, it's going to start synthesizing the proteins of the uptake machinery. And these proteins first a pore in the outer membrane, then two pores, one for nucleosides and one for single-stranded DNA in the inner membrane. Then the machinery that will actually pull the DNA into the periplasm is assembled. This is related to the machinery of type 4 pili. It uses ATP as its energy source and force is transduced through a piston assembled from type 4 pilins. You can see the extracellular DNA outside the cell. Now we'll zoom in on a corner of the membrane. You can see the extracellular DNA. It can't get in. The pore is closed and it's too small. Now the piston is assembled, adding subunits from its base, and the piston pokes the um, pore open, allowing the extracellular DNA to bind to the tip of the pilus. Um, here we show it preferentially binding at the white dots representing the homophilus uptake sequence. The pilus is then retracted by forcibly disassembling subunits at its base, pulling the DNA in through the pore. The DNA is restrained while the pilus is reassembled because it takes more than one stroke of this piston to pull in a long DNA fragment. Once a free end of the DNA is in the periplasm, the DNA can be translocated across the inner membrane into the cytoplasm. Only a single strand is translocated intact. The other is degraded in the periplasm and the nucleotides taken up. If the DNA in the cytoplasm is unrelated to chromosomal DNA, it's all simply degraded, generating more nucleotides. But if the DNA is homologous to the chromosome from a close relative, then the incoming DNA can instead recombine with chromosomal DNA, displacing one strand, which is again degraded.